Hi, so this is the Softy Osprey 12 sleeping bag from Snug Pack. So this is the, um, of the independent sleeping bags, this is their warmest sleeping bag. So this has a comfort rating of minus 10 and an extreme rating of minus 15. So it's a two kilogram bag. Um, this is its pack size when it's sort of just in it without any form of compression at all. Um, and I don't know if I already said it, but I'll say it again if I did. It's a two kilogram bag. So when you think about what you're issued, it's still a, a lighter weight bag than what the, the current issued bag is. So let's get into it. So um, olive green, um, standard for years. These have come in olive green. Uh, you can get coyote versions as well. This is the olive green. You'll notice that um, on all of these Osprey bags, they have a zip, uh, a side zip, a left-hand side zip. Um, as opposed to the special forces sleep system which have a center zip on them so pros and cons of centres, central zips versus side zips i'm a side sleeper um, so i normally find that i end up on my side in the middle of the night even though i try, might try um, sleeping on my back it means that actually these are sometimes better for me because it means all i have to do is use my left hand to, to exit out the sleeping bag um, but a really good warm sleeping bag, some nice features. Well, do you want to take us through some of the features? Yeah, sure. So um, the zip is a full length zip that goes right down to the bottom. Um, it's also two way as well. So you've got a bottom zip here that allows you to vent off any excess heat. If you're starting to build up and it's starting to get a bit too warm in there, you can ventilate that out. And then also on the inside, you've got the reinforced uh, foot box area so that if you wanted to wear your boots in there whilst you're in your DOS bag in case you get bumped in the night um, then you're not going to be ruining the inside of your sleeping bag by doing that. Um, you'll also notice that on the top here there's no stitch lines going across it and the main reason for that is that it reduces the number of cold spots on the sleeping bag so traditionally you'd have a stitch line where you'd have a thinner area of insulation um, and it makes it a colder area but this way you've got a more even distribution of warmth throughout the bag. And then in the top, you've also got a nice big collar that's also toggled so you can tighten that up so you can seal yourself from, from the shoulders and then it keeps all the heat nice and cozy but from your shoulders down. And then again, an elasticated hood which is also adjustable if you wanted to close in around your head as well. So yeah, so a really good synthetic sleeping bag. So even when it's wet, it's still gonna keep you warm down to minus 10, extreme level minus 15. That's the Softy 12 Osprey version.